Well, hello, hello folks, welcome back. George here, I hope all of you are doing good today. Yes, I have another reading today, and this is about Katie Proudfoot. Now, this is my second one uh, reading for her, and this one is quite different. It is more of a, boy, there's a lot that has come up on this reading, folks. And if there's ever... A doubt that there's any spirits when I'm doing these readings it's going to be a video like this one a reading like this one that's going to make me say yeah there's something going on something's reading something so I'm gonna go ahead and get started here I'm gonna try my best not to stop and talk um, and uh, but I will throughout a little bit but here we go let's go ahead and let's get started on the reading of Katie Proudfoot. Yep. Hello, spirits. If I have any negative spirits around, I need negative spirits to go away. Positive spirits, you can communicate with this device here. Do I have any spirits here? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Spirits, if you're here, um, yep, it looks like you've we've got something. Okay. Very good. Okay, spirits. Welcome aboard, spirits. Now, spirit, I need to find out if you're a male, female, a child male, or a child female. And of course, we have what's in these boxes. So, spirits, tell me what you are. And we are here for Katie Proudfoot. She is the mom to Sebastian Rogers, which is missing since February 25th or 26th. In that time frame, today's date and session is May 5th, 2020. 24. <laughs> okay, folks. Now, if you watch some of my other uh, readings on this board, um, you may remember some of the things that came up. And, um, well, some, fit, some familiarity things are getting ready to happen. Spirits, if you can help me with some information about Katie Proudfoot. Katie Proudfoot, what is going on in her situation? What is something that she's experiencing or she needs to know? Some information here on this reading that you spirits can help me with and maybe help her if she was to be seeing it. Some kind of light that we need, some kind of vision. So I need to find out if we have a spirit here or what uh, spirit. Tell me what type of spirit you were. Two, three, or four on the dice. Five. Ooh. You're studying. <laughs> oh, you're studying. <laughs> Again. Another five. Ooh. Wow. Spirits, I need a one, two, three, or four. And if I have any negative spirits, out of here. Bad spirits, out of here. One, two, three, or four. A two. Okay, very good. All right, number two. And let's see. Oh, looky here. Yep, we have an adult male. I was very surprised to see that, folks. Um, that um, uh, it's been a while since I've had an adult uh, figure spirit possibly to come into this session here. Um, and I don't know what that means. Uh, I mean, Marilyn said, well, it could be someone that's related or knows Sebastian, knows the situation. It could be a, a relative and, and an adult male relative. So we have mm -hmm. an older male. Look at that. Wow. All right. Thank you, spirits, for that. Okay. 
Okay, with spirits, I need also, so I tell you what we're going to do. Since we have an older spirit here, a male spirit, I'm going to give you a name. Your name is going to be Carson. Can you hear that, Carson? Are you communicating? Just as soon as I said that, folks, the beeper at the top, the beacon, what I call the ghost beacon, started beeping. And that's always, to me, it's, it's like a presence in the, in, in the existence of this board. Carson, you're going to be called Carson. Okay? I see you communicating. I see you. Oh, yeah. I see you communicating. You can communicate. Okay, Carson. I need to know something about Katie's. Something about what season that she needs to concentrate on. And in this cup, I have some little crystals. Little colored crystals. And of course I have... We have, we have the green... We have the yellow. The yellow is for spring. The green is for summer. The orange is for fall. And the blue is for winter. Tell me something or tell us something or tell Katie something that she needs to concentrate or something that's coming about or in the past, present, or future about one of the seasons that she needs to really focus on or something has happened. Now, folks, I, I am going to tell you, I cannot believe this happened again. Watch this. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep. Winter comes up again, and folks, when did Sebastian Rogers go missing? It was winter. February the 25th or 26th. Winter. A winter has come up again. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh, spirit. I mean, th you know, there's an. I've done this so many times, folks, and I've sh shaken that cup, and there's been different. All colors have landed on top, you know, like where all colors show, or maybe three of them, even two. But it's. This is crazy. Every reading, it seems like that I've given about Sebastian Rogers, a blue little crystal here comes up and none of the other colors it's Thank crazy you. so something that katie needs to concentrate on that happened possibly in the winter and that is when her son went missing thank you spirits i need a card i need a card spirits but first <laughs> let's let's get katie a fortune teller here's our Wonderful fortune tellers, as you can see. And spirits, if you can get me a fortune teller for Katie that will help her understand a situation that's going on in her life here that she needs to concentrate on, pay attention to, and maybe change the way things are going. I see you concentrate. I see you. I see you are communicating. Can you give me again a one, two, three, or a four? A one. I hear you. That'll be, oh boy, you are constant. You are really communicating. Let's see who we have. Ooh, <laughs> that is, oh my goodness. Madam Clementine DeLaty. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Folks, that is a wonderful story here. If you haven't watched it, I do have the videos on, on her. Fortune teller. And really she represents the spades. Now, the spades is considered a dark card. Yeah. So we'll find out what her card is and what she's trying to And the spades also represents work. Hard working, trying to work to get things maybe hidden. Um, all kind of sorts of things like that. But it is kind of a dark card to say here in just a few moments. But... Right now, folks, I need to see if our spirit, spirit, and folks, I just want to tell you, <laughs> oh my goodness, you know, I always tell folks I only do one Terra Spirit card, one, when I'm doing these readings like this, um, and I'm not a psychic, 
I tell folks that. I'm not a medium. I just study this as a hobby. I have a dear friend, uh, Marilyn. She's a psychic. Uh, she's 82 years old, and she's just amazing. Gives me a lot of insight. Folks, the card that is getting ready to come up is just crazy that this card came up for Katie. This is for Katie Proudfoot. Carson, are you here? I believe so. I believe so. Any negative spirits, please go away. Definitely Carson. no. No negative. Carson, our male spirit here. I have the spirit tarot cards here. Can you please help us with a card with uh, for Katie? Something that uh, Katie needs to be paying attention to that may help her or that she needs to be warned about. Can you help us? One, two, three, four, five, or six. Carson, if you're here, help me with this. Four. One, two. Three. And four. There we go. Very good. Now. Let me double check, make sure we are recording everything that's good. These these cards, folks, they are beautiful. They're made of a foil. They're the uh, they're tarot cards, um, but they're very slick and very hard, difficult to deal with, to deal out. But boy, they are beautiful. And I do do the reversals on these. Like so, if a card comes up uh, in reverse, I I do that. You are. Good. Okay, so let's see what our card is. Is it forward or reversed? Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Post. Justice. I could Justice not believe that. Do you see that? So I'm going to turn it around so you can get a better view. But it is reversed. We'll talk about this card here. In now, folks, this card just could not believe that this came up this is the justice card if you know anything about Terra, um this is the card that it, it really shows if there's some like you know um it, it's like if you're going to get in trouble there's probably going to be some justice with it okay now i'm not alleging anything or anybody did anything wrong you have to take this with a grain of salt but boy, is it crazy that this card came up. So, um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and play it. And this is a description of what this card means. It's a partial description here. General context, justice reversed, can indicate injustice or avoidance of karmic justice. This may take the form of being treated unjustly in your life or situation where you are being unfairly affected by the choices or actions of others. You may feel you are being victimized or blamed for something that is not your fault. Whatever the situation, you must try to maintain your balance. Even if you didn't create the situation, you can choose how you react to it and that can be a lesson in itself. Justice in a reversed position can also be an indicator of someone trying to avoid their karma. If you have played a part in creating your current situation by bad choices or actions, you must be accountable. Don't try to blame others or avoid the consequences, just learn from it and move forward a little wiser and more self-aware. The Justice Tarot card reversed can also indicate dishonesty. If you have been caught out in a lie, don't try to justify it or lie your way out of it. Just confess, accept the consequences and try to draw a line under it. Justice reversed can indicate someone with very hard line or uncompromising views. Examine if you or those around you may have become prejudiced. Examine this and determine is this how you want to be or what you want in your life. If you are involved in a legal dispute, it is not a favorable card to get and indicates that there will be some form of injustice in the outcome or the outcome will not be what you had hoped for. Wow, folks, that's what I'm saying. This 
it's crazy this came up i don't know what it's trying to say well i know what it's trying to say um but i don't know someone that's watching this and katie proudfoot if you are watching this i just want you to know not everything is bad okay things can get better but sometimes you know these cards they can they can be an awakening and that's uh that's exactly what my uh, friend Marilyn said she said this is definitely one of them awakening cards it is a telling card about this situation about Sebastian and his family and his mom there's something going on that needs to change somebody is not being up front with everything and it's going to haunt you if you don't uh, clear the air in this so but I was very surprised that this came up very surprised and then the next card is the card of Mincy cards and boy almost the same thing the same deal we'll talk about this card here we'll talk about this card Thank you, spirits. Thank you, Carson, for that. Now, the Cardamency cards. This is a very interesting way of telling someone's future from the past, present, and future. Madam Clementine DeLady, if your presence is here, could you help me with a card for Katie Proudfoot? She is going through quite an ordeal, as you can imagine. Mm, boy. Yep. All right. So I feel like I should stop right there. And you represent the spade, Madam Clementine. I will flip through the cards. And the first spade we come to, that will be our speaking card. Done. I have a heart. There it is. The five of spades. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're in the center. It just feel, it feels like you're in the center there. We have the flying crows. And we have... Yep. Folks, this here... Here it is. This is the... Uh, yeah, the... Um, man, the five of spades. Folks, look at this. Now... Always, you should always, Marilyn says this too, that you should always look the artwork on any cards that you're trying to read, some kind of, you know, spirit from um, and meaning. Because the artist was given some sort of talent, and that card will come up to somebody that needs it. And you can see right here, folks, look at here, you got three crows, um, you got three crows, and you also have... A skeleton, a skull, right? And a tree branch. And you've got, you know, these three crows. And you're, the card is saying that somebody's in the middle that's working hard. And there's people around them trying, you know, trying not to work. And there's three crows here. And there's a, a skeleton head. We got three people in this story that has been on the news on the you know all over the YouTube and talked about so it is crazy that this card had come up so let me let me kind of scroll through here so you can see what this card stands for okay so first of all you can see it says fear and frustration because you remember our our Terra Spirit card that she just got is talking about, you know, it's talking about lies, things that are bothering it. justice. Justice is coming. And someone that's reading this, this card here is trying to say fear and frustration is coming. Um, and you've got all kind of different things, but you've got the, uh, prying invisible eyes. Folks, I'm going to tell you, you know what that means, right? That means people are looking at this situation. And um, it says, falling and execution by humans. That's a really, that's a tough one. 
And this uh, card also represents like the uh, state of uh, Maine and the country of Czechoslovakia. Yeah, I can't say that correctly, but yeah, it's crazy. So here's the definition of, or the, the meaning of this card here. Encircled by the haunting crows, the way out from fear and frustration is unclear. The five of spades can represent interference from someone or something, such as meanness or unkindness from another. It could mean a reversal that's going to happen in a business or relationship. But it can also mean something positive happening in the future like eventual success. Or maybe a very happy home if you overcome and rise above your fears and repair your downfalls. Yep, that is so true. So true. And this is the final message on this card from Madame Clementine, uh, the lady. And she is, a, it says Annie Jones on there. I just, did, I forgot to change it. I'm sorry. But it is, this actually is what the message on this card uh, says. Uh, and the son himself is weak when he first rises and then gathers strength. The courage as the day gets on. So, so a very good message. Very good message. But this is a very, I don't know, it's a troubling card. It really is. Uh, just for the fact that, you know, it's, you know, saying that there's, it's revealing that there's meanness going on. There's people being mean to someone and unkindness and just, uh, and things are so unclear and people are, you know, are looking when you don't even see it. So very powerful card. And we have, this is an interesting card. Now, spirits, we need to find out what's going on with uh, Katie with a story. If you can help me with a story here. These are the story cards here. Yeah, folks, this is, this, um, this is something that I've added. I love this. I've had this for a while, and I decided to go ahead and add it to the video. But this is where it's going to kind of tell a story, you know, of where I try to ask the story about what's going on with this person. What can you tell me? And wait do you see what comes up. Mm. Spirit, wow, Carson, give me a story card. Give me something to tell a story from the past, present, or future that Katie possibly needs to pay attention to. I'm going to ask for a number. Six, one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And here is other, the other part of our cards here, of our story. These are the moon cards here. Yes. The moon cards. Can you give me a card that will reflect a story, part of the story for Katie Proudfoot? Two, three, and four. And we will look at them here in just a moment. Yeah, I love them cards. There is some sort of character in this story that has something to do with something. And in this bag here, we have a lot of characters. Spirit. Spirit. Yeah, folks, in this bag, there, like I said, each card has something, a message on each side. And I believe there's like, 50 cards so that'd be a hundred messages so when you get a message out there well you know it's one in a hundred and it's going to be the same way as the red bag too this is the event uh our character uh you know like like a uh person something that will start the story and then the next will be an event carson and any other spirit that's here can you help me with a character for the story of Katie Proud. Help me pick the card, Carson. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Rescue kid. Isn't that crazy, folks? I thought, what the hell? Did this just come out of the bag? Our char character card says, rescued kid.
rescue kit. Is this the the child they're talking about in uh, North Carolina that that's looking like Sebastian? Is this what came out? Is this what the spirits are trying to tell us? Wow. Oh my goodness. Rescue kit. Crazy. Just unbelievable. Oh my God. Well, there's got to be an event for that. Yeah, these Spirit are Carson, the, what the is the event? Carson. What is the event to this story? What is the event? What is the event? So we have a rescue kid space fleet navigating towards the Earth. And... I looked at this and I'm like, I, I wonder, is this just, just a random, random thing? And, uh, and Marilyn, I, I kind of, I asked her, I said, what do you think this is? She says, what it is, is telling you that there's some sort of guidance here. Um, something that's not normal and it needs to be brought back to earth. You know, it needs to be grounded. Um, and I kind of know what she talks about, but if you see this and you know what this might be saying about our rescued kid and the whole stuff here, let me know in the comments. But this is a, this is interesting. It is. see that. Okay. Space fleet navigating. Yeah. Rescue sure. kid. That's what could me. I could. Wow. I, that's crazy. Give me a symbol block. This yeah, part this... of this story. Give me a symbol block. Yeah. Just as soon as I started saying that about the symbol block, these are kind of like the ghost blocks, folks, if you've seen the videos about that. But these are just the one, and I it goes along with this Person story. Here, I see you're trying to communicate. You are trying to communicate. Give me a symbol block here. <laughs> wow. alternative history folks I got to tell you when I saw this I'm like well okay I'm stumped again what is this what could this mean is this a, you know and sometimes when things come like it's like it's on the board it'll be just kind of a, just a random thing and it may not even mean nothing but it's a, this what this is talking about is it's like a science fiction story uh, that, you know, that creates a uh, fictional world um, and an event um, in the past that's caused history to diverge from its known course. So, of course, you know, i got to add, i, I got to ask Marilyn, because uh, she's brilliant. She says, do you not see what it's saying here? There's a science fiction story that's being told. And I had to think about that. And that's all she said. A science fiction story being told. And I'm like, oh, hell yeah. I get it. Some folks out here watching us that don't know the whole circumstances that we're that we've been presented with with Sebastian Rogers may not get this, but a lot of us will understand what this means. We kinda it's, you know, science fiction, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it sounds like it could be real, but it's more likely out of, out of this world that we don't, we can't understand. But if you see another meaning in this, folks, let me know in the comments. I definitely, definitely want to hear from you on this. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Now the cards are underneath. Well. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Carson, you're doing good. So we've got a rescue kid. Yeah. But what is our, what is part of the story? And these cards, folks, they will tell you like, in a, in a from the past, present, or future kind of a situation here. So. Alternative history. Wow. Within a year. Yeah. So. This card could mean something. It, it could mean from, you know, last year, or towards next year, but it's it could possibly within a year. Possibly, 
but within a year. It, and it could be also meaning within this year that, we're, that we are in. But the next card kind of maybe clears this up. I don't know. Speaking to us? Yeah, this beacon was just, it was going in, in May. May. I just, oh when I, this card come up, I say, this yeah, okay, here we go. I don't know, folks, if this is, you know, I don't know if this is trying to say so I think it's we're going to experience something in this month. Um, I mean, we've, it's early in May. We're within a the year of whatever this is trying to say. We just passed winter, which, you know, our winter crystal there. So hopefully we're going to get some good news uh, and maybe the science fiction story will be over with. It's time now to go to the tea leaves for Katie Proudfoot. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Now folks, the tea leaves. Let me explain this real quick uh, for the ones just joining us. What a wonderful way to get an image of what a reading you're this goes way back to the 1400s, something like that, even probably before that. This is uh, where um, people would tell fortunes by visualizing tea leaves, and that's what's in it here. Um, but uh, let me just go ahead and get this going. <laughs> okay, spirits. Any negative spirits? Please go away. And folks, I want to tell you just a quick story about that bell to the right that says, you can barely see it, but it says, Mother, I actually uh, um, just purchased that bell, bell out of the thrift shop. And uh, and I just like the sound of it because it just sounds so really nice. You know, But it says Mother, and then there's like a, a verse about Mom. And um, when as soon as I bought it, I'd come out of the store, and um, I had met one of my uh, neighbors. Um, and folks, oh my gosh, uh, I walked up to her and she started crying. I said, "What's wrong?" She said her mom had passed away two days ago. I hadn't seen her like you know, because neighbors, I just see them in and out. And I said, "I cannot believe that. I am so sorry." But I was like, oh my goodness, what these spirits will give you signs of and what the warnings. And it's just, I believe there's all kind of signs. But I asked, the, asked her if she would like to have this bail and she said no. She's, she, she said she just can't think about taking anything right now. But she appreciated that. But I felt so sad for her. But yeah. And then, and then of course, folks, we're talking about Katie Proudfoot, and we're talking about a week away from Mother's Day. How do you think this is going to be feeling for her? I mean, as far as I know, that's her only child, and he's gone. Um, so I'm hoping that Katie will see this and maybe get something out of this. Negative spirits, go away. Good spirits. Come in. Okay. Spirits, if you can help me with a message for Katie Proudfoot, what is going on in her situation? What is going on? Negative spirits. Yeah, I had got a cold chill. Negative spirits. I feel presence of negative spirits. Please go away. Spirits, if you can give me a, a message. A message for Katie Proud. Give me some sort of vision that I can see 
possibly what's going on in Katie Proudfoot's situation with Sebastian Rogers, her son, her missing 15-year-old son. Spirits, this is the personal auto of, of mine, a pocket watch. A vision of Katie Proudfoot. If I yeah, this will, this is when you do this, you put your personal item on the cup. I could see a, and some sort of vision. It of does Katie Proudfoot. Supposedly, can help bring in a some message sort of from the spirits. But we can see that there's whatever issues going on. Please help us with that. So, folks, let me tell you real quick what I saw just as soon as I flipped this, car, this cup over. I saw a lady standing there uh, to the right, standing up. And to me, she was, she was holding, holding a child. And I know it doesn't exactly seem like that, but it seems to me like she's kind of bending over. And I wish you could see my pointer on here, but you can't. But um, she's tilting over, she's bending over a little bit, slightly, and she's holding a baby. And she's got a lot, to me now, it looks like she's got a lot of um, baggage on her back, you know, carrying something heavy. And there's something, some kind of spear at the top going, coming from the, you know, like uh, from the sky into her head there like just some kind of spear some kind of bolt of something i don't know but that's what i saw on this oh my goodness. let me know in the comments what you what you are seeing i don't know folks i just saw this just as you look at here oh my goodness this looks like this is my vision could be wrong but I see, I see a woman. I see a woman right here. It appears to be like a mother figure holding a baby, holding a baby, looking at her child. And we have someone in the background right here. Yeah, I thought at first it was maybe somebody standing there, but the more I look looked at it, I'm thinking it's like baggage, you know, how you're carrying baggage you can't get rid of, is what I'm thinking. That. I see. It appears to be that there's something at the top. Marilyn said she seems to think that it is a acknowledgement sticking out at the top, like an antenna, uh, like a frequency, you know, like a... Uh, TV antenna or a radio antenna that is picking up signals around and and you're and she's looking at her child and she don't know what to do but she knows what's going on in her in her surroundings that's what she says and there's another thing that Marilyn says that I didn't know um, that I had I'd completely forgot about actually I did know about it but I forgot about it but I'll show you in just a moment on piercing that. maybe the head there I see some. Yeah, let me know what you see. This I see. Is, I love your comments too. on this. There's something that's unbalanced, but there's definitely. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely. another thing. Uh, unbalanced. This this person that I'm visualizing is like just can't stand up straight. There's it's not balanced. You're not balanced right. A figure there that appears to be a maybe a mother figure. Or a female, but somebody's holding a child. That's what I'm seeing. Wow. And you know, after looking at, at this too, it could be the person in the back pulling on, on the mom and her grabbing her child and not wanting 
to say goodbye. I mean, that's that's a visual. That's just a visual. That is that is something. That's the vision I'm seeing on this. And Marilyn said, uh, she asked me, she said, what are you doing with the leftovers? You know, when you dump the tea. I said, I just put it to the side. And she said, you know, you need to look at that, that too. That's like the, she calls it the drippings. But it'll also have an image too. And, uh, and it's like a, like a futuristic image. It's like what could be coming. And so I looked at it, at this, and luckily I, I, I had not thrown it away. And I started looking at this. Um, and then I'm seeing what I call God's soldiers, angels, hovering above, standing above someone below, asking for forgiveness. Um, it just like there's a maybe an angel standing there, another angel floating in the air to the right and the left, and there's somebody on their knees asking for forgiveness. This is just the vision I see. Let me know what you see on this. And this is the drippings on this. Yeah, crazy what you see in this stuff. It is just amazing. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was definitely interesting. Oh my goodness. That tea leaf reading definitely looks like a child and a lady holding a baby. Yeah. I'm going to pull out a couple of numbers here. Spirit Carson, is there a number? Is there a couple of numbers that may mean something here? Help me. Yeah, and I usually try to do this in the beginning and, uh, and I, it kind of slipped my mind. But check these numbers that come comes out. This is interesting. Pull out a number here. No one. Is this part of the story, Carson? Is this part of the story? Well, I hear you communicating. <laughs> Yep, 16. 16. I'm just like, 16. what the heck? 16. Now, Sebastian is 15, but what does the 16 mean? What do you think, folks? That just got me. I'm like, um, I don't even know when his birthday is. I was thinking somebody said it was maybe in December, maybe, but, you know, but you know, he will be turning 16, so that's crazy. This came up. Yep. Okay. 16. Well, I'm hoping that we get to see him at 16. That's what I'm saying, you know, so that he's live and well and living with his, his dad. That's what I'm praying. I hear you. Well, you know, I think it's time. What Katie's report card. And this, folks... Um, I know this is new to you all. I've done this many times with uh, folks and uh, with friends. And uh, I came up with this a long time ago. And it's just, it's, I call it the spirit, uh, ghost spirit report card. And it's interesting how it comes out. So here is, and I only do this with somebody that they're, they're living. I don't, like if I'm trying to do a re reading on somebody that I think has passed away or something. I don't do it on that. But being that we know Katie is live and well uh, as of this recording, you know, um, and I I'm curious of what her report card would be from the spirits. It's going to and this is just an entertainment view of it, okay? <laughs> so remember that. We have... Our bottle caps here. <laughs> yeah, I love the and bottle spirits, caps. That you I know use. that in this bag we have 50 bottle caps. There we go. Can you see? And we have our scorecard here, our report card. And we have romance, finance, health, spirituality and awareness, and overall well-being. Spirit Carson, 
can you help me with this? First one. That'll be for romance. The love life. Mm. Help me pick out a let me pick out a this is going to be for the finance or the health. Yeah, and I always tell folks, you know, when it comes to health and listening to the, uh, and like I said, I'm not a psychic or a medium or anything like that, but there's people that try to go to psychics and try to get, you know, kind of like real roman romantic help, you know, but they also try to, you know, um, find out, try to find out something about their health. And I'm telling you, you should never do that. Always go to your doctor. If you feel like something's wrong, don't go to a psychic. Go to the doctor. Through the spiritual okay. Felt like that one fell right in place there. And finally, the awareness. Thank you, spirits. Thank you, Carson. All right. So let's see. Let's see what uh, Katie's report card is here. Her spiritual report card. So the first one. Right here, so you take a look at the bottle cap here. Love these bottle caps. And oh, an egg. romance. <laughs> so, Katie, if you're watching this, your romance is doing okay from what the spirits possibly are saying, you know. But well, we don't know, do we? We don't know. You get an A. Mm. Well, how about that? There. That's as high as you can get. <laughs> you're doing good on that on your romance. I don't know if you would agree to that, but that's, at least that's what the spirits possibly. A are lot saying. of people probably wouldn't agree to that, but at least what we've heard. But we don't know. We don't know. Your finances. How's your finances doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got a a D. I want you to see the bottom of the cab, and it's oh, a D. Boy. A D. Okay. That's not uh, too good. That's not too good. Okay. okay. So your health, and remember, don't. You know, your health is, if you feel bad, go to the doctor. Don't don't rely on a bottle cap. Well, yeah. Let's see what the spirits may be saying about the, about the health. An A. Okay. Yep. So it's giving you an A for your health. So. That, and you know, I got to say, if you're going to, if you're going to look at something like this, that, that's what you want to get. You do not want to get an F because this, this, this gives you, this is graded like A, B, C, D, elf <laughs> so yeah you don't want to get an elf yeah it's no. good uh somebody got an elf one of my friends that i was doing a reading and they were just so upset and they said oh my god what do you think that means and i said it don't mean a damn thing it means just you know that it's a it's a, a reading that's coming up uh do you feel bad no D uh, do you feel like you needed to go doctor no then you know and maybe the elf means fine. You're fine. <laughs> That's good. Now, spirituality. How's your spirituality? Oh, oh. Your spirit is good, too. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, Katie, your spirituality. Well, at least the spirit, spirits are saying that you're, you got an A on that. So, maybe you're praying. I don't know. Hope so. Hope so. Katie? Your spirituality. If you're a religious person, you know, there's some people it's not, but, you know, and that's okay. But, uh, yeah, it's good. Interesting. And, oh, what about your awareness? You know, mm. the common sense, things that are around you. What uh, What is your score on that? Or what's your grade? What do, what do you think the spirits are grading you for your awareness? Mm. A B. And, you know, okay. you could kind of look at that anyway right there, right? I mean, you know, it's not an A, it's not a C thing, you know, maybe something needs to be worked on, you know, the awareness. Uh, maybe you're not sure about things, don't know. Maybe. Not too bad at all right there. So it looks like 42. Yeah, and I add up the score, each one of these camps got a score, like A is 10, you know, and so on. And that's how I get up, get the score on there, so. Here's your score. Needs, your so, finances need to be worked on, if yep. that has anything to do with anything. Yep. But you're getting A's across the board here. There you go. How about that? 
There you go. Now that wouldn't be a bad report card for me, right? Because mine, I've seen a lot of elves on mine. C's and elves. I didn't hardly ever, I see a couple of B's. Hardly ever would I get an A, but yeah, this is the spirit, uh, ghost spirit report card. There we go, folks. <laughs> and uh, yep, it's quite telling, it is. And it is very interesting when you do this with, you know, friends and family, whatever. Yeah, they're like, hmm, okay, okay. All right. So that is our reading for Katie Proudfoot, the mom to Sebastian. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is a very interesting, very interesting read, to say the least, to say the least. Yeah, definitely. And, and Spirits, thank you for your help, and Spirit Carson, thank yep. you. And any bad negative spirits I want out of here, Carson, you are welcome to leave this spirit, this session. All spirits are welcome to leave this session. I thank you, and I will request your presence again. Thank you, yep. Spirit. So there we go, folks. That was Katie Proudfoot's reading. And um, Katie, if you happen to just stumble across this video and see it, I just want you to know that, look, you have to take things like this with the readings and psychics and all the stuff like that. You have to take it with a grain of salt. But the thing that I get out of this is that it is trying, if there's anything at all to this, it is a an awareness. It is a acknowledgement that something in the spiritual world is trying to get you to understand. And when you see the Justice card come up and the Five of Spades, then you really need to just kind of think, well, why would this card come up in a in a world that I'm not sure if there's spirits, uh, you know, that really can talk to you. Sometimes you really do know there is spirits. They can talk to you. You just have to look at the signs. And something is telling you on this card and on these all these items that come up that something needs to change if you know something about sebastian's disappearance this is what i would just say just go ahead and let everybody know let the authorities know let's find sebastian and let's bring this to an end if you don't know then fine you can but the thing of your decision right now that i can say it's like everyone else out there in this world that does things on a daily basis and makes, you know, decisions that either are good or bad, you've got to live with that. And you can only, you are the only one that can change that if you want it. If it's a bad decision, you can change it. You can work on changing it to a good uh, good solution you know, a good decision, and people will respect that. I just really think that people would like to see Sebastian come home. They want to see him alive. They want to see what, you know, how he's doing. If something in the family or that somebody knows something, just think about it. Come forward, and it will be so much better. Because right now, if you don't know anything what happened to him, your life is still has to be like a living hell. It just has to be. And if there's something you think you could do to change that, to make it better for yourself and your family, you are the one and the only one that can do that. So, but folks, I hope that you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed making it. Um, it's, it's so much of a passion to just see what comes up and it's and it's really enjoyable to you know to uh, find out what these things are trying to say you know in my imagination and with the help of Marilyn and and you all have really been great of uh, telling me on the, in the comments what you think these things are saying so 
keep up the good work folks um, if you have not subscribed to the channel if you will do so it'll let you know that I've got another uh, video reading or, or whatever I'm putting out it'll it'll let you know that it's come out but and if you like this please hit the like button because believe it or not folks there is people out there that do not know that Sebastian Rogers is missing they do not not know that the people in North Carolina at that visitors center they didn't have no clue about Sebastian Rogers um, so it's important to get the message out because there's so many missing people out there missing kids missing adults and Sebastian's case is one of them that you that has some something has brought light to it and we really need to get Sebastian home so folks thank you so much you please if you have a loved one please or a friend or someone you care about go give them a hug because folks like I always say you just never know Folks, thank you so much for watching. You all have a good rest of your day or night. And until next time, folks, this is George, and I will see you down the road. Bye-bye.